Madison City officials just wrapped up a meeting on the now infamous Meadowlands Apartments, also known as M Block. Community members who live in or around the building complained about a constant police presence, so much so that Madison police determined it's a chronic nuisance. New at 10, Grace Alch has you covered on how the development company plans to make the situation right with neighbors. We'll eventually get there, but right now it's a little tough. Meadowlands Apartments on Madison's east side has only been open for a year and has already made quite a name for itself. We've seen calls for service increase, unfortunately, in July and August. So we're trying to, to find ways to, to reduce that and turn the direction of those calls for service. People who live in the area and residents in the building say there's been a near constant police presence. Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes declared the property a chronic nuisance, citing examples like calls for battery, criminal damage, animal mistreatment, and more. R.J. Pasquese, president of the development group that owns Meadowland, says they know the complex hasn't had a strong start in Madison. When we opened the property, we had the wrong property management team in place, and so we had to turn over our personnel there, but now with the team under Roslyn, we really feel strongly about we've got a great group in there. Pasquese says due to company turnover and pandemic complications, relationships with community leaders were not established right away. But their team in Madison is actively working to fix that. They do have weekly meetings uh, with a lot of those individuals, and we're trying to just create solutions. How do we, how do we solve this problem? Because we can't do it all on our own. Pasquese says KCG leases explicitly state the kind of conduct they anticipate from their residents. If there's no change in resident behavior, they begin the eviction process. But Pasquese says eviction laws in Madison slow that process down. It just takes a little longer here to get out people who are not doing what's in the best interest of the rest of the community. Tonight's meeting didn't include a Q&A session between residents and community leaders because alders say they're just not at that point in the process yet. District 16 Alder Jael Curry says as leaders and KCG staff get further into their solution process, they'll keep residents updated and will be able to address more concerns at that time.